The Cavs already with a hyper-focused look on their faces as they arrived earlier, planning a strong performance in their home building. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson and Ali LaForce, our reporter. Let's see some of the numbers here for Chris Boucher. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. Now let's take a look at Toronto's starting lineup. Siakam is the four with Pirtle in the middle. Barnes is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Trent in at the three. And for Cleveland, and a lot of size for him, with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess in at the three, the small forward. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And, you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Here we go. So Cleveland will get first position.
possession. Garland, the pass to Mobley. To the middle. And finished off by Garland. It's great whenever a big knows how to handle it. Allen sharing the wealth. Siakam outside. Garland against Barnes. Garland comes with the double team. Trent outside. It's stolen by Garland. Allen against Trent. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Pass to Trent. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. From deep, Mobley. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. This is something that Mobley is still developing, but nice to see him take a confident shot from the arc. And an obvious screen on Garland. It's Barnes on the wing. Check by Mitchell. Barnes, it's good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Garland. His last outing, we saw him score 22. From deep, Struess sinks it from distance. Getting better at recognizing when his teammates are open. Garland, great time right there. Here's Serrano with the ball. Four-point game. And an Obia screen on Garland. Barnes in the post. Checked by Mitchell. And that's a foul. Called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Picked by Pirtle. Siakam with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Six on the shot clock. Oh, the block! Just stops it cold and takes possession. Struess finds Garland. Fires the three. Toronto grabs the miss. You know, Richard, in 2023, the Cavs reach the playoffs without LeBron James for the first time since 98. B.A., that's the year I graduated high school, and that's just the beginning for this team. The Cavs have drafted well, they've made some big-time trades, and their core players are only getting better. Mitchell, the pass to Garland, fires from deep. Hurdle grabs a miss. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Siakam in the post. Mobley's on him. Tries again. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. You're shooting more free throws as his career is going on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Good from Siakam. Well, Grant, when it comes to the Raptors rebounding, it's a tale of two stories. Yeah, B.A., and over the last couple of years, they've been terrific on the offensive boards and absolutely terrible on the defensive boards. It's something they're working to fix this season. And he makes the first but misses the second. Well, Grant, one of the things that keep Raptors fans positive is the youth that's represented on this roster. Yeah, they've got a great core, B.A., and lots of young guys on this team. But they're missing a star. Yeah, probably, but they can be dangerous. Now here's Siakam coming off a solid outing against Chicago. Trent outside. Barnes feeling it out a bit. To the inside. And the dunk by Pirtle. Moving so well for his size. Jakob is fantastic in that two-man action. Mitchell against Barnes. The three ball. And it's Donovan Mitchell with the three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Raptors have gone four of six in the first quarter. Siakam outside. 
Back to Barnes. Puts the move on. And it's good on the lay-in. Barnes has got his second basket on the night. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Mobley, a screen on Ananobi. The three from Mitchell. Siakam pulls down the board. The Raptors have gotten five of seven shots to fall. Ananobi passes to Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Powerful finish. Jakob not taking any chances in tight. The Cavs trailing. Here's Garland. He's been contributing over 15 a game. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's good. Two points. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid-range in his territory. And the bucket is good. Barnes has got six points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Mitchell. What a tremendous game he played against the Lakers. Well-run play, and Mitchell puts it in the perfect spot. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Pass to Barnes. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. Second shot opportunity. Yep, that one goes. He's got six. The Cavaliers have got six of ten attempts to fall. Here's Mobley. Garland looking around. Mobley, a screen on Barnes. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Trent outside. And it'll be on the wing. Inside, Barnes. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Already a stellar defender. Mobley proving he can be relied on to anchor for this team. Hurdle with a screen on Garland. Barnes passes to Pirtle. Second chance effort. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got three assists tonight. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Now here's Garland. From outside the arc. Pure from three-point range. Garland's got his third bucket of the night. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And the Raptors call time here. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. A different look for Cleveland. Niang, he's checked in for Allen. Okoro comes in for Struess. And Jerome subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Porter finds Schroeder. Boucher outside. Pass to Schroeder. Achua with a screen on Garland. Great open look there. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point, but these teams, they are built to score, so... Now here's Garland. Seven points in the game. From downtown. Jerome, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Dick. The three. 
with a shot off that time. Good D by Niang. Cleveland has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. Well, Grant, with his size and range, Grady Dick is a ready-made floor spacer. Oh, this kid is lights out shooting the ball, B.A. Such a threat to defenses. You can't lose track of him. He's always moving around the floor. Young season, young talent, Grant. What do you look for to identify an up-and-coming team with a chance to be special? Well, B.A., obviously, you have to start with talent. But then it's fit, it's identity, it's personality. I mean, all of those ingredients matter in becoming a top team. First free throw is good. You know, the Cavs have done a nice job rebuilding since the end of the second LeBron era, Richard. Now, it took a few years, B.A., but yes, the front office has found some quality talent in the draft. Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and they've made aggressive moves getting Donovan Mitchell that helped them get back into the postseason. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Levert's checked in. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Achua with a screen on Levert. Schroeder passes to Porter. No good from outside. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Pass to Okoro. Now here's Levert. Mobley on a screen. Levert finds Mobley. Niang, right side. Levert outside. Four on the clock. Over Schroeder. Oh, it misses! Had a chance to tie it. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's a Chua. Soft touch off the glass. And the Raptors lead by four. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Levert goes against Boucher. Levert, that's good. Yeah, that's inexcusable. I mean, the defense must push Levert farther away from the basket than that. And so it's Schroeder with it. He brings it up for the Toronto Raptors. Pass to Dick. Achua with a screen. Step back and fire. He's rebounded by Okoro. The Cavaliers have gone 8 for 14 from the floor. And here's Levert. This one for three. The shot comes out. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Here's Dick, defended by Nia. Outside for Porter. The three-pointer off the mark. The Cavs trailing. Nia outside. Launches it. And he buries his first look. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Down low. Here's Porter, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be Evan Mobley. And that's a good example Porter is setting for his teammates. You've got to get your elbows dirty. Can't be afraid to get physical. from from Porter. Wade, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. And Toronto also making a switch. McDaniels checked in. Porter hits them both. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Cleveland. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. 
And that one misses. Something I appreciate about Karis LeVert is his flexibility as a player, Richard. Yeah, B.A., he's got that kind of ready-for-anything mindset. Whenever he's needed, he is ready. And let me just say this. It's a little bit rarer than you think in this league. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Crops in the three. And the Cavaliers lead by one. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's Dick. No points so far. No good on the shot. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Tries to keep it alive. Now here's Porter. He's covered closely. That's good from Schroeder on the assist by Porter. Schroeder's got eight. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Toronto. From the tip, they are not making things easy on them. Lots of steals playing disruptive basketball. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. Now here's Schroeder. Give him eight. Porter gets the bucket. A dangerous shooter from deep. All Porter needs is a little daylight, and he's good to fire. Schroeder against Levert. Pass to Okoro. Back to Levert. On the wing, Wade from behind the arc. He buries it from three. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. Schroeder against Levert. Outside Schroeder. Over Levert. Can't hit the step back, Jay. And so it's Jakob Pertl making highlights for the Raptors. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back with you shortly. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And from what we've seen from the Raptors, what's your take so far? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. And so here is Toronto. Their next game is at Barclays Center in Brooklyn for a game of the Nets. That'll wrap up this short two-game road trip. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Dean Wade is out there with Jared Allen. And it's Struess in at the three. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Now here's Siakam. Rejected by Allen. Oh, and with that wingspan of Allen, you always have to be aware of where he is because he will block a shot from pretty much anywhere. Wade misses. The Raptors with a lead. Here's Barnes. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. Barnes has got eight. Guy's is just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there. Brian? Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Here's Garland. The Raptors making their last shot. Outside Mitchell. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Five points in the game. 
And Mitchell makes scoring look so easy. That jumper he's got is lethal. Pass to Pirtle. Siakam outside. Pirtle with a screen on Mitchell. And the foul on Gary Trent. That's his first foul. And a quick look at how the Toronto Raptors schedule is shaping up. On Tuesday, they'll take on Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And you know for that matchup with New York, I'm sure they've been waiting for that one. And they're eager to see how they measure up against a quality opponent. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Wade. OG Ananobi's checked in for Toronto. Barnes against Garland. Struess with a screen on Barnes. Here's Garland. Second chance shot. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Something Jakob does so well. He's terrific at positioning himself to come up with these blocks. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. The free throw off for Siakam. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Six to shoot. Back to Garland. Shoots over Siakam. Oh, Siakam with the block. And the coaching staff, they love this. I mean, Siakam, he's engaged, aggressive, just getting after it on the defensive end. Now here's Barnes. Five-point lead, biggest of the game. Back to Pirtle. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Falls for Pirtle. Here's Garland. He has seven. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Pass to Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Ananobi. Five on the clock. Mitchell undeterred. Cashes in the J. Making shots against tough defense. All NBA players like Mitchell have to do that. They get so much attention. Picked by Pirtle. Barnes passes to Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. So it's the Cavaliers now. After the basket by Toronto. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Trent. Beyond the arc. Mobley grabs the board. And Mobley has got the ball here for Cleveland. Trailing by eight. Outside Struess. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. good on that one. Jerome's checked in for Mitchell. Boucher's checked in for Toronto.
good on the second one. And here's Barnes. Last game, he had 28 points. Outside Ananobi. Garland against Barnes. Here's Boucher for three. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got six assists in the game. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Garland, no good. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Pirtle, the pass to Barnes. Outside Ananobi. Just five on the clock. Boucher on the screen. 4-3. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got four rebounds now. Jerome passes to Garland. Counted from distance. Garland's got 10 points in the game. And that's why you have to stay attached to Garland. He's got a quick shot and he will fire it with any amount of space. The three from Barnes. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Lakers in their last game. And what a great feeling. Ending it the way they did. Just a clutch effort they can build on. Now here's Struess. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Pass to Trent. Over Struess. And again, Toronto no good. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Back to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Making full use of that reach. Allen able to pluck the ball out of the air for that easy lob. Toronto's gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Barnes in the post. Guarded by Garland. Got it. Good job in the low post. Barnes has got six in the quarter. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Some room here for Struess. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. The Raptors have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Picked by Pirtle. Barnes against Garland. The shot by Pirtle, no good. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Barnes against Garland. Mobley, a screen on Barnes. Garland for three. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now here's Ananobi. No made baskets yet. Barnes against Garland. Shot clock at six. And the dunk by Pirtle. Oh, we've seen it all from him tonight. Jakob, he's scored, he's rebounded, he's dropped dimes. He's had an impressive game. Cleveland calls timeout. A different look for Cleveland. Niang, he's checked in for Allen. Okoro comes in for Struess. And Karis Levert is subbed in for Garland. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Achua's checked in for Pirtle. Porter Jr. comes in for Trent. Dick, he's checked in for Ananobi. And it's Schroeder in for Scotty Barnes. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Here's Jerome. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Pass to Niang. Clock at six. Levert outside. Takes a three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. It just seems like the defense wasn't interested. They got away with one. Now here's Achua. He's averaging about six points per game. And as the season rolls on, let's look at the leaderboard. The best bigs from beyond the arc. You take a look at Niang. 
never leave him open. Second in the association from deep. And these bigs have refined their games to the point where they're a threat to score from anywhere on the floor. Okay, I'll say it. I'm still not a huge fan of big fellas taking threes, but when it comes to this group, I will make an exception. Merrill, he's checked in for Cleveland. And here's Levert for three. Good. Third basket in six attempts. Some agile offense from Levert, finding a way to get his shot around the coverage. Boucher a screen on Levert. Schroeder passes to Boucher. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. A sharp steal and some quick offense. Cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Order a screen. Here's Schroeder. And again, Toronto no good. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Niang, pass to Levert. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at the Cavaliers. As the season continues to ramp up, they've secured the seventh spot. And, of course, there's Toronto. Only two spots back. Well, for the Raptors, they've had that kind of mixed start that we've come to expect. Nothing that would indicate they're in for any kind of special season. They do look like they're the same kind of team they were last year. Good, but not special. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Wade's checked in. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. Niang, no good. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Dick. Still without a bucket. Schroeder passes to Porter. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. And the Raptors lead by five. Off a nice feed. This is Porter's game. Lots of rhythm in that shot. Here's the pick. Pass to Merrill. There's the three. McDaniels with the rebound. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Takes the three. Can't hit that one. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Niang, that's good. Niang's got four points this quarter. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Oh, you got to love George Niang's nickname. The minivan. One you don't hear very often. Pretty clever. Yeah, he gets it from being a little bit slow up and down the court, but he gets you there in good time. But let's be real, none of his teammates want to have to guard him. Now here's Levert. He's got seven. Sends it home from three-point land. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Well, Cleveland's shooting is around 55% so far. Pass to Wade. Now Niang lets it go from deep. Shooter with a rebound. Impressive closeout on a skilled shooter. That is how you defend shots from downtown. Here's Nick. Still no points. But Chua with a screen on the vert. Here's Nick. From deep. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Wade, the pass to Merrill. 46 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Levert. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Raptors shooting 52% from the floor so far. There's a screen. Schroeder passes to McDaniels. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested.
That free throw misses. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mitchell's checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Pascal Siakam, he's checked in for Achua. And he sinks the second. The Cavs trailing. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Levert. Top of the key. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Levert's got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Outside Schroeder. The three is up. And he can't get that one. Karis Levert has been on display for Cleveland. More 2K action in just a moment. Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap as we check out how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. I think for the Cavaliers, they've looked okay early on, but it's going to take a lot of work to get this team to the next tier. Plenty of competition ahead of them and not much room for error. And moving on to the Cavaliers' first half. It's a close one through two quarters. Obviously, the bench gave them a big lip. The credit, the front office for loading up on scorers. You can never have too many of them. Yeah, trying to defend them, you really don't know who to take away. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. It's been quite a game for Jakob Pertl. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Checking out the group for Darko Ryakovic to start the second half. Siakam is the four with Pirtle in the middle. OG Ananobi out there with Barnes. And it's Trent in at the three. Struess the pass to Mitchell. Outside Garland. Ananobi against Mitchell. Five to shoot. Mobley a screen on Siakam. Garland no good. Toronto trailing. Pirtle the pass to Siakam. Siakam draws the double. Pass to Ananobi. There's the triple. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got six rebounds now in the game. To the inside. Now here's Struess. Mobley outside. And here's Mitchell. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. That one on Barnes. And you know, Richie, for his age, Evan Mobley's defensive instincts are off the charts. He plays the passing lanes well. He's always in the right position. And with that length and athleticism, he has a chance to be an all-time great defender. Throw good, Mobley. And the future is bright for Mobley. He is a big man who possesses the whole package. Oh, 
and he's good on the second. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. And so it's Siakam with it. He brings it up for the Raptors. Ananobi against Mitchell. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Pirtle. Shoots over Mobley. The shot by Pirtle, no good. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Allen with a screen on Ananobi. The three from Mitchell. Yes, sir! Mitchell from long range. Perfect use of the pick and roll. Mitchell just taking what the defense gives him. The Raptors have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Trent on the wing. Covered by Struess. Hurdle with a screen on Garland. Here's Barnes. That one's good. 7 for 10 now. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now here's Mitchell. Ten points for him. Not going to go that time. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Brian, Evan Mobley still is just scratching the surface, but already he is making his mark in the most important way. Coach Bickerstaff said he's a winner. Fourth quarter's big moments. He just finds a way to help finish ball games and to make the play. Evan just makes the right play to help us win, he said. Brian? Well, no doubt. He's a star on the rise, Allie. Thanks for that. From deep, Mitchell. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got six assists here tonight. The Raptors have gone two of five in this third quarter. And an Obi, a screen on Garland. Barnes with it. He's picked up by Garland. Garland comes with the double team. And an Obi finds Barnes. Into the lane. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt that's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And you want to talk about a catalyst. Donovan Mitchell just makes things happen, Richard. Yeah, he can put a team on his back. He's been doing that since the moment he came into this league. It's his leadership, his play, and most importantly, his availability. He is one of the best two guards in this league. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Both free throws good for Mitchell. We talked about the guys who play bigger than their listed size, and Donovan Mitchell is at the top of that list. Pass to Achua. Inside. Here's Ananobi. Oh, misses the dunk. The Cavaliers leading. Allen, pass to Mitchell. And he's going for the lob. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got four points in the quarter. Mobley is a gifted scorer down low. Toronto calls timeout. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. This timeout gives them a chance to strategize because whatever the game plan they have, it's not working. Okoro is checked in for the Cavaliers. And Toronto also making a switch. Boucher's checked in.
and finds Barnes. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Trent outside. Barnes against Garland. Pass to Ananobi. The floater. That's in. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Barnes has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. Leading by five. Toronto grabs the miss. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. With a step back. In deep. Barnes drops it in. Barnes has got 18 points in the game. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Now here's Garland. Ten points for him. Pass to Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home! Oh, man, and that is why Mitchell has won a dunk contest before. He knows how to get a few style points. Barnes against Garland. To the middle. Now here's Boucher. Not a lot of room. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Over the last ten games, these two guards have been incredible defensively. Piling up the steals. Fifth best, Donovan Mitchell. And those steals haven't come just by accident. They've gotten them through the effort they're willing to expend on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, the kind of active defense these guys play require a lot of stamina, and they don't have an off switch. It's all effort all the time. Jerome's checked in for Donovan Mitchell, and Toronto also making a switch. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Ananobi. Good on the bucket. Finding and taking those opportunities. Mobley does a good job of not passing up that good mid-range shot. Pass to Boucher. And here's Porter outside. Drills it from deep. 11 points in the game. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Wade, he's checked in for Cleveland. Dick, he's checked in for Toronto. Schroeder comes in for Scotty Barnes. Toronto has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Schroeder passes to Boucher. Off target from three-point range. Cleveland has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Jerome. Back to Mobley. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Mobley's got 11 points. <laughs> Look, even against contact, even if you try and be physical with the Mobley, this man just stays strong and gets it to go. Tries it from 16. Here's Achua. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Achua's got his second bucket on the night. The Cavaliers have gone six for nine in the half. Garland, the pass to Wade from the arc. Doesn't go that time. The Raptors have gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Pass to Dick. Pulls it from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Wade. Well, Cleveland's shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. Porter with the steal. Three on three. Here's Achua. Achua with the dunk. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Now here's Garland. He's got 10. Jerome, no good. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Back to Porter. Outside Schroeder for the lead. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 11. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Garland, the pass to Jerome. The 
Cavaliers again cannot hit. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Pass to Dick. Here's the three. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. I'll tell you, Grady Dick can shoot for days. I mean, his confidence from beyond the arc is really incredible. Cleveland calls timeout. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Niang, he's checked in for Cleveland. Lavert comes in for Darius Garland. McDaniels is checked in for Toronto. against Levert. Pass to Jerome. Can they get it? The three. Wade, that's good. Wade's got six. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Schroeder with it. Now Levert defending. McDaniels from long range. Cavaliers with a rebound. Okoro's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's Levert. Covered by Schroeder. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. When talking about Karis LeVert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Grant. You know what, B.A.? You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And also, the number of points they've scored in the paint has been impressive. This coaching staff encouraging them to keep going inside. The first free throw is good. And when healthy, Levert is a problem. A multi-dimensional guard who can score, pass, and rebound at an impressive clip. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Merrill's checked in. Both free throws good for Levert. Toronto's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Pass to Dick. Out left to the wing. And here's Schroeder outside. Jerome grabs the miss. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. Porter looks it over. Schroeder with it. McDaniels, a screen on Levert. Pass to McDaniels. Let's the three fly. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. And the Raptors lead by two. 
for Cleveland. They've gone 7 of 13 in the second half. It's Levert on the wing. Covered by Schroeder. The shot by Levert. No good. That's just the bucket uh, like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. And finished off by Boucher. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. Levert outside. Shoots over Schroeder. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Now the Raptors with it. They're on an 18-7 run. And finished off by Boucher. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. They set the pick. And here's Levert for three. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Schroeder. One sixteen left in the third. Here's Dick. Just five to shoot. And here's McDaniels. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. Love the energy here in the third. Trying to take control now of this contest. Yes, this is a pivotal moment in this game. Those extra possessions right now, they just mean a little bit more. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Here's Dick. There's 38 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Shots good by Schroeder. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. They set the pick. Here's Levert. Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Dick. Pass to Schroeder. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Dick with a miss. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Raptors out in front, leading by 10. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess and it's small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. With an over nine-foot standing reach, Allen can go over you, around you, however you want it. Here's Siakam following the score by Cleveland. Over Mobley. The rebound by Garland. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. To the paint. Here's Struess. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his fourth assist in this one. Loading up to stop Mitchell can lead to big breakdowns defensively. Now here's Barnes. Over Mitchell. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. Pass to Mitchell. Outside Garland. Jacks up a three. The shot that time not on target. Another miss from him. Struggling to find his rhythm. Barnes finds Ananobi. And here's Trent. Checked by Mitchell. Trent against Mitchell. 
Offensive board, Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Is one of Pirtle's greatest strengths, his offensive rebound. He just has a nose for finding second chance points. Garland against Barnes. Pass to Mitchell. Now Mobley. Allen on the wing. Shot clock at five. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Now here's Barnes. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. That's four fouls for him tonight. He needs to pick his battles wisely going forward. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Pass to Barnes. Here's Siakam. Let's go with a three. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. You can see the length come into play whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. That's good from Siakam. He hits the second from the line. And he makes all three. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Mitchell against Ananobi. Mobley is screen on Ananobi. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. Pass to Pirtle. And here's Siakam. Outside Ananobi. Shoots over Allen. Oh, rejected by Allen. Here's Garland. Takes it inside. It's good. Just slicing his way to the rack. This man is so crafty. I love it when Garland takes charge like this. And Toronto calls time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Dark Goryakovic said to the team. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, but we can't let up. Guys, back to you. And Ali, thank you for that. Here's Barnes. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's his first turnover of the game. And that only goes to show how well he's taking care of the ball to this point. The Cavs have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Barnes against Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Allen in the high post. Now here's Garland. Three-pointer. Mobley, no good. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Back to Pirtle. Barnes with it, guarded by Garland. Pirtle with a screen on Garland. Down low. Pirtle, the pass to Siakam. Outside Barnes. Just three to shoot. 
Fires the three. The rebound by Garland. Garland's got five rebounds tonight. Mobley down low. Working on Barnes. Kept alive. And Mobley throws it down. Oh, go ahead, big fella. Throw it down. Mobley showing off that incredible bounce. Outside Barnes. Pass to Trent. Launches a three. And again, no good by Toronto. The Cavaliers have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Tries a 10-footer. Misses off the right iron. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. To win the cold spell. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Barnes has got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Pass to Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. The three is up. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got five rebounds in the game. Inside. Here's Trent. And he makes it on the layup. And the Raptors lead by ten. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. Now here's Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. And Siakam has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Barnes passes to Siakam. Back to Barnes. The jump hook. The Cavaliers pull it in. Mitchell with the ball. Pass to Mobley. Puts up a three. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Barnes with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Mobley with the block. And he recovers it. Now Siakam. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You've got to focus on the details. Ananobi against Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Ananobi. Grown man points from Donovan Mitchell. And this is what we've come to expect from Mitchell. He is just a monster offensively. Barnes with a screen on Mitchell. Ananobi passes to Barnes. Over Mitchell. And Barnes with a basket. The assist from Ananobi. Barnes has got 20 points. Mitchell against Ananobi. Pass to Struess. Outside Garland. Back to Struess. Now Mobley. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. And here's Barnes. Siakam, the pass to Barnes. Over Garland. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be Evan Mobley. on the first and the second free throw is good 
In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved, hitting in the low 80s now. Pass to Struess for three. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got six assists here tonight. <laughs> That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Toronto has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Barnes. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. Cleveland has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Ananobi against Mitchell. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Now just a three-point Toronto lead. Woo, out of nowhere. Allen flying in to slam it home. Didn't see that coming. Pass to Pirtle. Barnes with it. Pirtle with a screen on Garland. Back to Pirtle. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The moment Pirtle gets the ball around the hoop, he is so tough to stop. for Pirtle. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. So he gets them both. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. Pass to Mitchell. Stolen by Ananobi. Over Mitchell. Here's Siakam. Nails the baby hook. And the Raptors lead by seven. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. Here's Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to be on OG Ananobi. If they want to come away with a victory, they just need to keep knocking down those free throws. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Pirtle with a screen on Garland. Barnes passes to Pirtle. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. Just staying active. That's a big part of Pirtle's game. Niang, he's checked in for Allen. one falls and that one goes in two from the line that time Cleveland has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth Mobley a screen on Ananobi the three from Mitchell and it's Toronto with a rebound. 
locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Siakam outside. Fires for three. They get it again. Ananobi. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. Mobley, no good. The Raptors with a lead. Pass to Barnes. And an OB for three. Here's Pirtle. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Pirtle's got eight here in this quarter. Nice bucket. Jakob with good size, and he knows how to use it. And here's Nia from deep. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. To the middle. Here's Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Toronto has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. To the inside. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Cleveland calls timeout. They're behind by 13. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Here's Garland. A shot to stop the run. Sinks the tray. Garland's got five points now in the quarter. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. And Toronto calls time here. They're leading by 10. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Jones, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. There's a minute 17 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Siakam. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Inside. And it's Mitchell, that time on the assist by Garland. Mitchell's got 25 points in the game. Whatever he lacks in size, Mitchell makes up with craftiness and allows him to be effective inside. And Anobi with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Trent from long range gets the three to fall. And the Raptors lead by 11. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Raptors. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. Down to five on the shot clock. Barnes on target from about 13 feet. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. 
this is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. So no problem for Toronto as they get the win. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks.